What's up everybody? It's Demo with Demo Vapes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Bonza. Uh, if you can see it, I don't know. There we go. I'm going to be taking a look at the Bonza from Vandy Vape and the Vaping Bogan. Yeah, so I've had this one actually for a little bit now. I've had this for about three or four weeks or so, and that gives me a lot of data to put together for you guys. So yeah, so this is based on a period of about three or four weeks of usage or so, so you'll get uh, some longer term opinions on this review. This RDA was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Brett over at the Cloudy Vapor. Huge shout out to you, brother. It will not change my opinion. I did just want to start off tonight and let you guys know that I do have a Facebook group to join if you guys are interested. We've got a little community going. We're already at about 100 members. So if you guys want to have access to some exclusive giveaways and things that you don't see, some content that you may not see on my Instagram or here on my YouTube, please check out my Facebook group. I will have a link down in the description below. Tonight we are vaping on this Pound Town e-liquid. This is the lemon pound cake variety and this is a fantastic nice and sweet very accurate pound cake flavor and it's just gorgeous in this bonza rda as always guys there will be links down in the description below to pick up all of the stuff you see here on this video one other thing i wanted to show you guys real quick tonight i am using some sherlock holmes corrugated staggered staple framed clapton's things Staggered staple fuse claptons, I guess that's what it is. These guys are beautiful coils, as you guys are about to see in the install. This build is coming in at a .13. I'm rocking it at 130 watts on my Daily Vape TV DNA 250. This is a Boss 3000 XL V3 from Vaporized Nomads. Let's have a vape. Alright guys, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get down up close and I'll show you a whole lot more about the Bonza RDA by Vandy Vape and the Vaping Bogan. Alrighty everybody, here we have the Bonza RDA by Vandy Vape and the Vaping Bogan. This is the final retail packaging. We have a sort of plastic uh, jewel case here, popping this open. Inside you'll see we have the Bonza RDA right here up top and flipping this open we have two extra drip tips, an Ultim drip tip and a black Delrin drip tip in case you don't like the yellowish and orangish drip tip that comes with this. Pulling this out, setting it to the side. Pulling this tray out will reveal the bottom of the tray which has the Bonza RDA user manual and a bag of goodies. Here we have the Bonza RDA user manual and this is one of those awful flip out multi-layered user manuals that just, yeah, these, these are terrible. Terrible user manuals, I hate this so much. So I'd really like to see this more as like a book as Vandy Vape has done in the past. So, cause it's just hard to use this and get it all back together. And here we have the goodie bag. We have your classic little blue flathead screwdriver, a Allen key for your squonk pin, a squonk pin in here, an extra negative post screw, four extra screws, these are Phillips head instead of the flat head, and some O-rings, as well as a 510 drip tip adapter. One thing I would have liked to have seen is an extra set of flat head screws, as well as this extra set of Phillips head screws. In case you strip the flat heads and you want to use flat heads instead of Phillips, it would be nice to have an extra set of flats, that way you don't have to like change them all out or use a mixture of screws, because that's just kind of annoying if you have to go back and forth, and then you need two screwdrivers to unscrew your screws, and it's just annoying. So I really wish they would have put another set of flatheads in there. Not a huge deal, but just a little something. And here is the Bonza RDA. As you can see, we have the skull and cross mods up front. Nothing on the back. Air flows on each side. 15 air holes on each side. We've got this lovely sort of chain link design up top here. Beautiful design. On the bottom, you'll see it says Bonza RDA. And then we've got our batch numbers up here. The Vaping Bogan, manufactured by Vandy Vape. The negative screw right here. And a lovely protruding 510 pin and a protruding peak insulator. This is definitely hybrid safe. Up top, we have this acrylic resin drip tip. I think most all of the Vandy Vape products are coming with these drip tips now. And I'm really happy to see that because I think it lends a little bit of elegance and flair to a product. And it's just a little bit of an upgrade from that normal Ultim we've been seeing for the last six to nine months or so, or maybe even longer than that. But before we go on, I did just want to mention that this shiny gold plating is a fingerprint magnet. Man, I mean, like, I'll just stick my fingerprint on there. And you can't really see it right now, but this is a fingerprint magnet, and it's just kind of a bummer. I mean, not a huge deal. You know what you're getting, so if you don't like that fingerprint kind of magnet stuff, don't get the gold. Maybe go for the black, or, I don't know, the stainless steel might have a better finish, but it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. The barrel is pretty simple. It's just a basic barrel, nothing fancy on the inside. You've got your air holes, and that's really about it. Here's the top cap. We've got one single really beefy ring up top 
and we've got three slots so you can run this in single or dual coil mode. Lovely conical shaped design right up there up top. A10 drip tip compatible. And as I said earlier, these chain links are here, I guess to provide a little bit of grip, although I don't think that they provide too much grip at all. I find that this AFC is rather hard to turn and we'll talk about that a little bit more up top. And finally, here is the deck of the Bonza. Now, this is a pretty cool deck, I have to say. This is sort of like a reverse Cheetah deck or Cheetah 2 as I guess I've, I've been told. You've got these post holes on the outside and you've got these clamps that go down on the inside. I'll, just, I'll demonstrate that for you here in a second. As you see, as I'm rotating this, that clamp lowers. On this clamp, there's a little bit of texture right there, and that's to kind of bite down into your leads. That way, when you're kind of pulling and adjusting your coils, your coils don't move around on you too much. Otherwise, it's really straightforward. This has a nice, deep juice well. I think it is about seven millimeters deep, and I have not had any leaking issues with this. With purging, I've just dumped tons of juice in this juice well and then purged and, and then vaped, no problem. I've never had any leaking or spit back issues whatsoever. Two things I wanted to talk to you guys about while we're down here. One is positive, one is negative, and the, uh, the positive, negative, right? This style of RDA is incredibly versatile. You can put coils in here from this hole to this hole, or from like this clamp to this hole, or you can even put them in from this clamp to this clamp. So if I'm doing like a regular alien build, like a five wrap, three millimeter alien or something like that, I'll just put them in there from this one to this one. I won't even bother using these guys just because it's way easier to just pop them straight in and have them sit on top of each other. Tonight I've got some pretty huge coils though, so I'll be putting them in from here to here. And most of my series builds fit from this clamp to this post hole right here. I've never had any need to use this hole to this hole. That's huge distance. I mean, this is a little small screwdriver, but that's a massive distance there. Probably an inch between these two almost. Now, one other thing I did want to mention to you guys, this negative post right here, as you can see, mine wobbles, it moves on me. And that's a huge bummer. I have tightened down that negative screw all the way. I've swapped it for the other screw and nothing that I do seems to be able to lock that negative post really in there. So now I haven't had any issues with resistance jumping or anything like that. So not a huge deal, but when you are building it, it does kind of pull your coils around. So just keep that in mind when you're building it, that you're gonna, when you tighten your coils down, you're gonna have to go back and readjust your coils. Typically, I also like to tighten my coils after I fire them as well. And then I'll do that again and then it'll move and then I'll have to adjust my coils again and fire them up again and get the hot spots out again. So this is kind of annoying, not a huge deal, I guess, but that might be a deal breaker for some people. So, you know, keep that in mind. I know that not everybody has that issue. All right, guys, I don't have a whole lot more to show you down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this, wick this, juice this, and we're gonna get back up top. I'll vape it for you guys and I'll give you guys all of the thoughts that I have on the Bonza RDA by the Vaping Bogan and Vandy Vape.
everybody, and that was the Bonza RDA by the Vaping Bogan and Vandy Vape. So yeah, I've had a really great time with this RDA. There's not too much new or innovative about it, but it's a really, really well-made RDA, and it's just a really well thought out design. Very simple, very easy to install your coils. And yeah, we're gonna get right into the pros and cons, but I just wanted to, to let you guys know that I really have been enjoying this RDA. All right, we're gonna start with the cons tonight. As you saw down up close, there is a wobbly negative post situation, and that really hasn't caused me any issues as far as jumping resistances or anything like that. But it is kind of a tough situation to deal with when you're building sometimes. Depending on the coils you install in here, when that when that negative post twists on you just a little bit, it can kind of move your coils out of alignment and create some new hot spots. So just be sure to align your coils and you know when you tighten your screws, just make sure to check your coil alignment and stuff. I don't know if you're gonna have this problem. I know that some other people that I've talked to with this RDA have said that they have had no problems with it, but it's been a problem on mine from day one and I've installed the other screw just to see if that might ch help things or change something and it doesn't seem to change anything. So that's just a design flaw on mine or rather not a design flaw, but a manufacturing flaw on mine. So, you know, keep that in mind. You might have some trouble putting really small builds in here, like really small round wire builds, but then again, that's not really what this RDA is made for. This is a sort of, eh, I mean, this is kind of a cloud chasing RDA. Wide open, it can chuck some serious major clouds. Let's see if I can adjust this for you. Oh, I can't adjust it. Oh, man. So yeah, that leads me to my next con. The O-rings on this, the tolerances are all wrong, and that sucks. The bottom O-rings on the deck, I can just spin this freely very easily. I can just pop this off. There is nothing holding this on. I can't even let go of this mod. It, it falls off so easily. So that's a huge bummer. And then this O-ring up top on the AFC is super tight, and I can't even adjust anything. So... Ugh, man, like I can get it open all the way right there. Now I'm all the way open, but it takes a lot of effort. And so that's kind of a pain in the ass. Now I know other people have not necessarily had the same issue. And I feel like I run into this issue a lot when I get gold plated atomizers. So I don't know. I mean, it is a thing on mine and it's really, I think it's the biggest con for me and it really af negatively affects my user experience. But if you're kind of a set it and forget it guy, not a huge deal. All right, I'm gonna take a hit for you guys wide open. You can see the vapor production. Yeah, this thing can chuck some serious clouds. I prefer the AFC on mine set to two rows of the holes closed off, personally. I think that gives me the best flavor and balances flavor and clouds just absolutely perfectly when it's set like that. And that's really, thankfully, luckily, all I have for cons on this guy. Moving right along into the pros, this is very easy to build. It is a incredibly easy design to build. You can either pop your build right into those center two clamps if you've got a more medium-sized build, if you've got your coil leads kind of level. It's very easy to build that way. Uh, if you have a larger build like I have in here or a series build, which which I guess would be a larger build as well. You can pop them into those uh, staggered post holes, the post and the clamp. Very, very simple, very easy to install your coils and get everything clipped and tightened down, whatnot. So fantastic, I love building on this. It was a super, super easy install when I first got it and I was just like, yes, this is great. I love RDAs that are easy to build. I just got the Nudge RDA in, for example, and God, that thing pissed me off. It's so hard to build compared to something like this, and that's just a beautiful breath of fresh air. The flavor on this is decent. It's not out of this world or, you know, bottom airflow level, but for a side airflow RDA, I get really good flavor off of this. Nothing to write home about, but really, really highly decent to good, solid flavor. One thing that I love about this RDA is the airflow. The airflow on this is just super smooth. And it's smooth at all settings. I'm not gonna adjust it for you because it would take me a thousand years to adjust this between the settings, but it is smooth all across the board and that's fantastic. I think that the way they've done this with the airflows, with all of these little holes, just smooth out that airflow so much. This is a super, super deep juice well, so you don't really have to worry too much about overdripping. I really haven't had any problems with overdripping on this atomizer. I can just flood this deck completely and I've had no leaking, no spit back, no anything like that. This, I think, I have to say, is my favorite platform for series builds since I've got it. I mentioned that before briefly, but this is an awesome RDA for series builds. You have 
so much airflow and you've got just the perfect length between the post holes and that's fantastic. I, I know that sometimes I struggle with series builds on certain RDAs. There's just not enough space between the post holes in an effort to make it more usable for medium builds. All right, guys, that kind of brings me to my conclusion. Clicking over to thecloudyvapor.com, you can pick this up for $32.99 US dollars and that is a fantastic price for this RDA. Very, very affordable. No, uh, no vape budget considerations needed or anything like that. So yeah, would I buy this if I was not sent this for the purpose of this review? And I'm gonna say yes to this one. I definitely would buy this though it would not be the first thing I would buy. I would probably pick up a Reload 1.5 first, as I normally would, and then I'd pick up a Drop RDA before this, and maybe even a Dead Rabbit before that. So it would be like three or four on my list of reviewer RDAs, or RDAs in general that I would buy. All right, guys, that's about all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a second to like, comment, and subscribe if I've earned it. And yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Demo out.